point is largely, almost entirely volunteer. It's not possible. But as Mitchell mentioned, we're a values-driven organization. We care a lot about the web. We believed in what we were trying to do. And so we pushed ourselves until we made this thing with its attractive logo designed by Canadians. Uh, and that felt pretty good. And it felt pretty good not just because we showed people a better browser, although I think it was. The great thing is it was faster and more extensible and more standards compliant than anything else out there because we just had a different take on it. We had a different set of values around it. Um, for me, though, the big deal is that we showed people they had a choice. So, okay, so Firefox definitely used to matter, but we just had our eighth birthday. Um, does Firefox still matter? Well, let's check. Competition is fierce these days. There's, there's lots of browsers out there. Nobody can claim that you don't have choice. We can feel good about the fact that we did that, but it's not really a problem the way it used to be. And if you watch the state of the market, you can't help but notice that mobile is exploded. It's everywhere. This is device sales for the next couple of years. That flat little line at the bottom is personal computers and everything else are mobile devices. And when you dig in on what people are doing on mobile, they're using apps. Right? Mobile web browsing is that sad little green box at the bottom, and apps are that giant line rising to the right. So if you care a lot about Firefox, if you grew up, if you came into the community because you're excited about Firefox, these kind of charts could make a person worry that maybe Firefox isn't relevant the way it used to be, that maybe Firefox's job is done. Well, that's okay. If that's true and we've got new ideas that are going to move the web forward, that's not necessarily a bad place to be, but it's a little bit sad making because I think a lot of us are pretty vested in Firefox succeeding. How many people have had those doubts in the last six months, two years? How many people have sort of looked at the world and said, all right, fewer than I might worry, so that's good, um, but let me see what I can do about those fears anyhow. Maybe enough to despair, but the web is still one of the most amazing technologies I think humanity's ever built. Fire was cool, electricity is neato, I really enjoy alarm clock radios, but the web has some characteristics that are so global, so transformative. I know the people in this room understand that, but for me, every time I sit back and think about this modern printing press we've created, and some of the things that it can do, the idea that anyone can participate, we've got ground to cover there. Everybody's not participating in the web right now, but they're getting online pretty quickly. Uh, it took you know, decades for the first couple billions to show up. The next billion is showing up in a lot less than that. It's expressive. You can get online, you can have conversations, you can collaborate with people around the world, and it's open. You don't need anybody's permission to be there. That's a pretty amazing thing, and it's a thing that needs strong allies. It's such a big target. It's such an attractive resource that Mozilla and our values, but what we think the web should be, continue to need to be a strong voice there. But in the face of all the change that's happening, in the face of how different the web is from where it was, how do we do that? Is Firefox still an important part of our tool set there? Well, as it happens, we have a plan. I'm going to walk you through three things. First one, we need to rebuild the browser. Who used this? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. You can't probably read the text, but I enjoy the fact that in the opening page, we have to explain to people what a hyperlink is. Um, <laughs> this is a browser. It is for browsing. You view web pages in it. It's got a back button and a home button and a reload button and an address bar. This is Firefox 1. How many people use this? Yeah, there's more hands. So now I know how old I am relative to this crowd. Uh, <laughs> so this is a pretty cool browser. It's got a back button and a home button and a reload button. And one of the things that was pretty neat about it is it's got a search box on the right-hand side, and that represented a real insight in terms of how 
people were using the web, we realized that there were a lot of pages out there and that how you found those pages was a really primary thing. It was something the browser had to support directly. <clears throat> but otherwise, it looks about the same. Here's Firefox 17. It's got a back button and an address bar and a search box and a home button. You know, we simplify things. It doesn't have a bookmarks bar anymore. It's cooler than it was 